Hello, I'm Mr. Brandenberger, and I want to tell you about an opportunity that sixth grade students have coming up this summer in the sixth grade Environmental Science Academy. If you like science and you would like to spend a week doing science after school is out, this may be for you. All right, so what is it? <clears throat> the sixth grade Science Academy is a week of field trips every day and hands on science every day and this year it will be June 6th through the 10th. That's the week after school is out. And these pictures uh, show just a few of the things that we do and we'll talk a little bit more about what we do every day uh, coming up here in just a minute. Alright, so what do you do? You get to learn about the importance of water and water quality. And we all use water every day. We drink water. It's part of our lives, but uh, where does it come from and uh, why is it important? Uh, to, to have quality water. Uh, these are some of the things we'll, we'll learn about. All right. Um, while you're at the academy and participating, you get to talk to real students doing real research and real science here in Seguin and some other places around the area. All right. So let me tell you what the week looks like. Uh, Monday the 6th, we will go do water quality testing and macroinvertebrate and a macro invertebrate survey of Geronimo Creek at Seguin Outdoor Learning Center. All right, so we'll go to the learning center. There's this creek. Um, I don't know if you've seen it when you've been out there before, but um, it has a creek running through it, Geronimo Creek. And we'll go down to the creek and we'll take water samples, and then we'll go down and wade in the creek and collect macro invertebrates, which are bugs that live in the bottom of the creek and the rocks. All right. And uh, we'll take the water and test it for dissolved oxygen and also test it for pH to see how um, those affect the quality of the water. And then we'll uh, look at the macroinvertebrates that we collect and identify them. And by identifying them, uh, we can see how healthy the water is based on the types of in macroinvertebrates that live in there. All right. Also on Monday, we will visit the Guadalupe Blanco River Authority Labs in Seguin and we will learn about how the Guadalupe Blanco River Authority is in charge of the Guadalupe River and its water quality and what they do to protect it. All right. Then on Tuesday we visit Canyon Lake and uh Canyon Dam and the and the gorge. Um uh, if you've been to Canyon Lake, you may have seen this dam before, but uh, we, we get to learn about why it's there, why how it was built, why it was built, and um, what its purpose is today, how it operates. All right. Um, while we're there, we'll visit the Canyon Lake Gorge, which is an area that uh, got of earth that got washed away uh, during a flood when the water from this lake actually went over the spillway for the first time and, and washed out an area of rock and soil. Um, it's really interesting. A lot of f fossils on it and um, it, it's just a really neat place that you probably didn't even know existed. Um, we'll also go to to library nearby there that has a butterfly garden and we'll get to see how planting native plants uh, can attract butterflies and also see how that library uses rainwater to, to water everything. And uh, on our way back to Seguin, we'll stop in New Braunfels at Comal Springs, and we'll learn about where that water comes from and, and um, why that's important to us in this area. All right. On Wednesday, we go to San Marcos, uh, to the Meadows Center at Texas State University, and we get to ride on the glass-bottom boats that are there, so we can see all the organisms that live in this little lake called Spring Lake that's fed by springs and learn about why that's important to our area as well. Um, and while we're there, uh, a professor and some of his students from Texas State University will help us um, do some fish dissections. It's a really interesting opportunity and students usually really enjoy that. All right. On Thursday of that week, uh, we will do water quality testing in a macroinvertebrate survey of Walnut Creek in Seguin. Uh, we'll go to Walnut Creek Park downtown, right across the street from, from Sagert. And um, we'll kind of do the same thing we did on Monday. We'll test the water for 
pH and dissolved oxygen and we'll also get in and wade through the water and catch some macro invertebrates so we can see um, what the quality of this creek is compared to Geronimo Creek and uh, usually on this day we also have a picnic and we may there, there's maybe another field trip that that we uh, get to do on that day I'm still working on that all right then on Friday we take a trip to Port Aransas to the University of Texas Marine Science Center and while we're there we get to ride on the research vessel Katie which is this boat right here <clears throat> and the folks there take us out onto the bay and we put out a, a big net called a trawl and they catch uh, whatever they can catch fish um, crabs uh, other shrimp other things that uh, that live along the bottom of the bay I bring them on board and and we get to look at them and and they learn about how they feed and, and their importance in the ecosystem um, I also uh, put out a trap to catch plankton and we get to look at plankton with a microscope and um, it's about a two-hour trip and while we're uh, while we're in Port Aransas we probably also go to the beach and take a look at um, some of the organisms that live in the in the surf along the beach and um, this day is it's kind of a long day we have to be at school at 430 to get on the bus to go to Port Aransas because it's about a three-hour trip so you have to get up early but it's it's a really neat trip and really worth it all right so um, if you're interested how do you apply all right you're gonna get an application from your teacher you have to get your parents to sign the application and then you're going to write an application essay on the back of it. All right, there's instructions on there for what to do. Um, return your application to your science teacher by Monday, May the 16th. All right, and you have to be able to attend the whole week of June 6th through 10th. That's the week after school is out. Um, you know, it's not fair if you can only go a couple of days and we pick you and then you decide that you and your family are going on a vacation or something. We want people that can go all week long. You have to bring your lunch every day and get yourself to the school. Uh, it's either going to start at Barnes or Breezy, and we'll let you know on that one. Um, and how we decide is your teachers are going to take a look at your applications. They're going to look at your essays um, and, and rate them. And then they'll also visit with each other and some of your other teachers about whether you would be a, a good student who can follow rules and listen Um they do consider whether you, you your discipline whether you have been in trouble a lot with uh, referrals um, or whether you talk a lot in class and won't pay attention um, those do we, we do take those things into consideration so anyway I encourage you to apply and um, you know once once you've turned in your application we'll make a decision shortly thereafter and let you know thank you I hope to see you there